again, Whiskey Tippers and Spirit Sippers, one one here again, and we've got another one. Went into the liquor store and saw something I have never heard of before in my life. we got a brand new one today. Limited edition Glen Morangi, the Cad Bull Estate. Well, that, that sounds pretty good. Oh, man, I just looked at this. I already love Glen Morangi. I mean, behind Glen Dronick, they're probably my favorite distillery. Um, I wasn't really crazy about the 18, but I absolutely loved everything else. The Nectar Dior, the La Santa, both Quinta Rubens. I mean, yeah, absolutely. I mean, even the original is really good. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. It's aged 15 years. Uh, it's 43% ABV, so you already know it's 86, per, uh, 86 proof. And this is a limited edition, the Cadwell Estate. This is a single estate, single malt. And that means everything that went into this bottle was all done right there on their premises. So they grew the barley, they malted the barley, they distilled it, bottled it. I'm not sure if they bottled it. That might not be. I'm not sure they probably did. I have to look into that. But as far as growing everything, distilling everything, everything they did was done right there on their property. So single estate, I'm pretty sure they bottled it too, because like I said, it is a single estate, single malt. So going to be impressive, says right there, uh, deep and creamy whiskey. I mean, it's going to be sweet probably, just like the Glen Morangi profile. I'm really looking forward to this. Aged 15 years, I mean, come on. You already know Glen Morangi has the highest pot stills in Scotland, so you know, we're going to get the smoothest and sweetest and easiest going uh, spirit, so it keeps it light, sweet, and really nice. So, yeah, that's it. Yeah, not the greatest pop. Hopefully the juice is much, much better. Ah, smells nice and sweet. <laughs> a little bit of honey. Oh, excited to get in there, but you already know how we do it. Uh, it's 15 years old, so we're going to let it open up for 15 minutes in the glass, and we'll be right back at you. All right, and we're back, and not a moment too soon. I'm super excited to taste this. I did do some check-in and they did say, uh, the website did say that it was from grain to glass. So 100% all on the same property right there at the Cadbull Estates, from grain to glass, all done in one spot at the Glen Morangi Distillery. So fairly impressive, very excited to taste this. Mm. Right away on the nose you get the distinctive Glen Morangi, really sweet, light, just really smooth, airy. Nothing that's gonna put you off. It just smells like sweet and inviting. Just honeysuckle and honey and vanilla. Maybe a tiny bit of orange in the back of it. Oh man, there's like a tiny bit of like mint on the very back of it as well. Oh, it smells really sweet. Uh, these are aged 15 years exclusively in all-American oak bourbon cask. So first fill all-American bourbon oak cask. So. This is really, it's really going to have some cask influence, and I'm sick of talking about it. I'm ready to try it. Let's get it in. Cheers. Yeah, it says creamy right on the box. A deep and creamy whiskey, and that does explain it pretty well. Super smooth going down, but it's got a little bit of burn going all the way down, and then not too much of a kick coming up, but you do feel it going down. That's kind of interesting. But other than that, pretty smooth. No burn in the mouth whatsoever. It is like a deep, complex flavor, but it's kind of really smooth and creamy. I don't know if that's just like, <laughs> yeah, maybe it's because I just, I mean, you read creamy whiskey and you're kind of expecting that, but it really is a nice, smooth, creamy feel to it. I mean, right when, I mean, before you even get it, you know, up to your mouth, it's like the nose, the aromas are just bursting with just sweetness and honey and vanilla. I mean, before you even get the liquid in over your lips it's <laughs> you're like you really want to get the liquid over your lips that just smells like yep i want to drink this not now but right now this is really nice oh it just smells so smooth and heathery heathery and light just fresh i mean man like i said maybe it's just the power of suggestion because i'm just reading all this and knowing that it's all on one estate but it just has this crisp clean feel to it boy that is really nice Again, I'm not the biggest fan of talking about mouthfeel, but it is just a nice, creamy, smooth texture. Like, everything about this is just super pleasant. Bravo so far. Let's see how it is with some water in it. Try a little water. 
Oh, <laughs> water. Shout out to Jason at the Mash and Drum. Try a little water in it. <laughs> That's so funny when he says it. Man, I don't know if it could get any more sweet and more honey smelling, but I think it just did. Oh, that is just a smooth, silky, honey, just sweetness. Like I said, I mean, it's weird. How do you smell? I mean, it just smells fresh and clean. Like I said, it could be the power of suggestion, knowing everything's done right there, but it does. It just really has this nice, real crisp, clean, fresh smell. Just a nice, clean, fresh essence about it. Let's see how it tastes with the water. Slunge pot. <laughs> that is nice. <laughs> that is just delicious. Oh my goodness. That is so good. I usually don't really put water in too many of my whiskeys, but I think that made it even better. I think it just brought out more of the sweetness and smoothness and ease and just the little bit of burn that was going down. That's completely gone. I mean, wow. That is so nice. Wow. Is this my new favorite Glen Ranji? <laughs> it very well could be. I think it might be. Oh my goodness. This is absolutely delicious. The Glen Morangi, the Cod Bowl Estate, limited edition. Get it while you can. Oh my goodness. So good. All right. Well, we got one more test. Let's put it over a little bit of ice and see how she fares. I think the pop was louder than the first one. tell you what so far this one is so smooth sweet creamy and tasty there's absolutely no need whatsoever to put this over ice but if you're one of those that enjoys your whiskey over ice let's see how it tastes again I don't want this to get too watered down at all but the water really helped I mean it didn't help it, it I think enhanced it a little bit it was already delicious and I think it just took it a step even higher with a little drop of water in it about three little tiny drops mm. You almost get like a cream soda smell over the ice. Yeah, like real smooth, sweet cream soda. Let's see how it tastes. Prost. Still smooth and creamy, but it watered it down just a little bit too much. That ice killed too much of the flavors. As usual, it kind of brought out a lot more of that oak, um, getting more of that 15 year um, first fill American oak flavor. Yeah, it really brings out that wood note. Like, yeah, that was like, almost like licking a piece of wood right there at the end. Yeah, it brings out a lot more of the wood flavors with the ice, which, I mean, isn't terrible, but I think it takes away too many of the other flavors, and I really enjoy those. Oh, man. Limited edition. I wonder how many bottles they actually made. I'm going to have to look into that. Um, I didn't see that anywhere, but... I'll tell you what, 15 years, Cad Bull Estate, this is absolutely delicious. One one approved. Um, man, first impressions, I mean, that's just the neck pour, and I think it's going to get actually even better. Man, this is really good. I think I have to give this on a scale of 1 to 10. I'm going to give this an 8.9 first impressions. This is that good. I mean, absolutely delicious. An 8.9. Um, I believe this one cost me, yeah, this one was $99 before tax. So, taxes will vary depending on where you live. But yeah, this one was $99 before tax at uh, Total Wine. And yum. <laughs> That's all I got to say on this one. Oh, man, I was super pumped. Something about it. As soon as I, I mean, I already really love the Glen Morangi distillery as a whole. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of the 18, but every other one that I've tasted out of theirs has been amazing. And this is, I believe this one tops them all. I mean, I love the Quinaruba. I love the La Santa. I really like them all. And this is the best one yet. Absolutely delicious. Glen Morangi, the Cadwell Estate. 15 years of just deliciousness. I highly recommend this. So yeah, that's going to do it for me. Uh, one one out here. I hope you guys are all staying safe and uh, making it through this madness that we're all uh, having to deal with at this time. But uh, grab a glass, take a breather, and uh, do whatever you need to do to get through this. We're going to make it through together. Other than that, this is one one out. I hope you guys have an absolutely amazing rest of the week. And until we see you next time, cheers.